more and more bacteria were becoming resistant to spreading across the globe. Very soon, we will not have enough antibiotics to treat infections. This is a major public health problem that needs to be solved. We need to assist each other. We really need to do more. At CDC, we work a lot with our partners internationally to detect and respond to threats that occur in healthcare like antibiotic resistance. One of the ways to make a difference is through using existing technology to help us think about problems differently. One of the ways we are doing this is through an app called Acumen that we are piloting in Colombia. With the Acumen application, you have the guidelines of all the antibiotic use in the hospital and the guidelines of infection prevention and control. The contact precautions, airborne precautions, all the isolations and the hand hygiene too. For the patients, the best benefit of this application is to have the right antibiotic. Knowing the right antibiotic in the right time, in the right dose for the right patients, I think it makes a huge impact. The ECHO model is another way that we're using existing technology, something that's as simple as a webcam, as a way to teach laboratorians how can we better use the microscopes and the equipment that they have to bolster their training so that we can better detect antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Because we won't be able to do anything about the bacteria if we don't know it's there. By using virtual connectivity, 100 if not 150 participants can connect in at any one given time. We'll create a safe haven for the participants where they are able to come in on a peer-to-peer -peer level, where they feel free to ask questions amongst themselves to know how to find where the problem was and correct it, so that the next time it doesn't happen again. What CDC has recognized is that technology is really critical, but what's also really important is having that human interaction, having that mentorship and that training. We were called to assist this really large public hospital because they were seeing high rates of resistant bacteria. We were able to identify what are the major gaps that could be addressed, and importantly, how can we make those changes last over a long period of time. We focused at uh, three areas. One area was the safe preparation of medication. The other part we looked at was to have the expect in infection control visiting our unit regularly to assist that IPCness in terms of uh, training and supervising. But to me, even much more important is the pharmacist is monitoring medication errors, checking as to the usage of antibiotics. The role of a clinical pharmacist is highly, highly, highly important to look after our antibiotics, to prescribe correctly, to control antibiotic usage in the hospital. And our goal is that no mother would take her baby home as a corpse from this unit. Because these antibiotic resistant bacteria are actually spreading from one person to another person to communities and even across borders, we all have a role to play because we all have a stake in the outcome. We really need more commitments and we really need more action. Whether you're the head of a country, the head of a hospital, or even just the head of a household. I think there are a lot of things that you can do together to effectively impact this epidemic.